Cheviot Hills is an amazing neighborhood located in the heart of Los Angeles. It's centrally located and you can get anywhere from the beach to downtown Los Angeles in minutes. It also has a wide variety of architecture, houses from modern to traditional to ranch style homes. I represent more buyers and sellers in this neighborhood than any other agent. That's not why I love it so much. I love it because it's a wonderful place to raise a family. And this is where my wife and I have chosen to raise our three kids. Chevy Hills is right next to Culver City, Century City, and Beverly Hills. You're just a stone's throw from downtown Los Angeles and 15 minutes from the beach. But even though you are right next to Hollywood and in the middle of one of the largest cities in America, Chevy Hills feels more like small town America with friendly neighbors, backyard barbecues, and families, and lots and lots of children. Cheviot Hills has two unbelievable elementary schools, and both of these feed into Hamilton High, which also has several different magnets. All of these are highly rated, sending kids off to the Ivies, the UCs, to Stanford. Cheviot Hills is filled with parks and playgrounds and has all sorts of public recreation for families. Sports field for pickup games, tennis courts, baseball diamonds with a great little league, and a public golf course. And of course, great houses with yards on every street. If you drive down any street in Cheviot Hills, chances are I've sold several houses on that block. I sold this one. I sold this one. I leased this one. I sold this Spanish over to the right. Both of these houses I sold to the developer and I helped him subdivide the property so he could build two houses. I sold this property to a developer and there was competition, but I got in a really wonderful builder who built a fantastic home on a big lot. This home at the time sold for a really high price and now it's worth easily a million and a half more. This is an impressive but understated part of Cheviot Hills. It's actually called the Country Club Estates and this used to be a golf course. And these houses go from on the low end, somewhere around 25 to six, and that would be as a teardown all the way up to seven million dollars. Coming up here on the right is a house that I recently sold off market. I'd say about 30% of my business transacts off market, meaning no one ever knows about it until it's sold. As a buyer, you may want to buy off market to avoid a bidding war, but as a seller, there are also benefits to selling off market. You avoid the time and expense of preparing your home for sale, and you don't have to show it to people. It's less stressful. The trick is to have an agent that knows which properties are available, whether they're on or off the market, and to know every buyer who's out there. This is why I sell more homes in this neighborhood than any other real estate agent. I know every homeowner and every buyer in the neighborhood. I know every property and I know all the new properties that are being built now and at what phase of completion they're in. This enables me to potentially make a really great deal for you, even on a home that may not be completed yet. So many times I can help you find a property midway through construction that you can then customize, make it exactly what you want for you and your family. This house is under construction and under contract for $7 million. I set up this purchase early enough so that the buyers can choose windows, can choose the stucco, can choose the color, and they are designing the backyard specifically for their family, which is a wonderful way to purchase a home. I can find you the perfect house and I can even find you the perfect financing for your situation. And now we're gonna go check out the highest price home that has ever sold in the neighborhood. And it was sold by me. This home sold for seven and a half million dollars and I represented the buyer and the seller on this property. But if you cannot afford a seven and a half million dollar home, don't be discouraged. There are plenty homes that you can get into that are right in your price point. In fact, when I got into this neighborhood, I was in a much lower price point and I bought a much smaller property, but then I was able to upgrade as the property value went up and then I was able to upgrade again and now I'm in my dream home, which is a big modern home with views of downtown Los Angeles. So what's good about Motor Avenue is that you can easily get from Culver City to the studios. You get a lot of traffic, but the houses are also really nice. So if you don't mind having some traffic in your front yard, you can actually get a really good deal on Motor. I see this happen all the time. People start with their first home in Cheviot Hills and then they grow into their forever home, but they stay in Cheviot Hills. 
why they fall in love with the neighborhood. And I understand how the financing works and how to get you out of that first home and into your forever home. Why? Because I did it myself.